This is going to be a video tutorial on how to safely open a link in a new tab using HTML. Let me jump over to my web page here and show you what I'm talking about. If you're creating a web page and you want to have links on it, I have two links here. I have linked some text here and I have also linked an image here. To uh, If you want people to remain on your web page, and when they click on the link, it opens in a new tab. I'm going to click on this. And as you can see right up top here, it opened into a new tab. I'm still on the this, this web page here on the first tab. I'm going to close that second tab. And I've done the same thing with this uh, image here. I'm going to click on the image. And it opens into a new tab. The URL that I have linked this image to in this text to will open in a new tab when it's clicked on. The way to safely do that, let me jump over to VS Code here. Okay, I have VS Code opened up now. I have just a basic setup here. I'm going to recreate that web page that you just seen. I have a folder from my web page, and inside of that folder, I just have a simple HTML document, and then I have an images folder, and inside of my images folder, I just have a simple image. I'm going to recreate that here. I'm going to put my mouse cursor at the end of my opening body tag. I'm going to hit enter twice just to give myself a little bit of separation. And I'm going to create an H1 tag. And inside of that H1 tag, I'm going to type this is my... And then I'm going to create an anchor tag. I'm going to make a space first, and then I'm going to create an anchor tag. And inside of that opening anchor tag, the first A, inside of the opening one, I'm going to put my mouse cursor right after the A. I'm going to create a space, and I'm going to do an href. href equals double quotations, and inside of those double quotations, I'm going to put the URL that I want to link my text to. I'm just going to link my text to my uh, YouTube web page. I'm going to paste it in there. And after that opening anchor tag, I'm going to put my mouse cursor between the opening and closing anchor tags. And this is the text that I'm going to be linking. I'm just going to type YouTube page. Now if I go up to File and down to Save, and if I reopen that uh, web page, I'm going to refresh. Now you can see the text that I have just linked here. But if I click on that text, as you can see, it stays on the same tab. If you want to kick it off onto another tab, I'm going to hit the back arrow to go back. If you want to kick it off onto a new tab, all you need to do, I'm going to put my mouse cursor after that second double quotation, after the URL, I'm going to make a space and I'm going to type target. I need to take my cap locks off. Target equals double quotations. And between those double quotations, I'm going to do an underscore and I'm going to type blank. This used to be the way to do it here. It still kind of is the way to do it. You could still use the target underscore blank. Uh, a couple years ago, a vulnerability was found with using this. And people could actually hijack your uh, URL. They could send you to a different web page using JavaScript. The way, you're, the way you need to do it now, you want to put your mouse cursor after the sec second double quotation there, make a space, and you want to type rel equals double quotations and you want to type no opener all one word no opener now if i go up to file and down to save i'm going to go back to that web page i'm going to refresh and now when i click on my uh, text here it opens into a new tab it opens that link into a new tab. I'm going to do the same thing for an image. 
I'm going to go back to VS Code. I'm going to put my mouse cursor after the uh, closing H1 tag. I'm going to hit enter twice just to give myself a little bit of space here. And to link an image, I'm going to use an anchor tag. And inside of the opening anchor tag, I'm going to put my mouse cursor just after the first A there. I'm going to make a space. I'm going to create an href. href equals double quotations. I'm going to paste in my URL. And now after the, uh, in between the opening and closing anchor tags there, I'm going to place my mouse cursor in there and I'm going to create an image tag. I'm going to make a space. SRC equals double quotations. And between those two double quotations there, I'm going to tell my browser where to locate the image. I'm going to put my mouse cursor between those two double quotations. My image is in a folder called images. I'm going to do a forward slash and the name of my file is my underscore thumbnail. Your file name will of course be different and my extension is a PNG. I'm going to do dot PNG. I'm going to put my mouse cursor after that second double quotation. I'm going to make a space. I'm going to type alt to create some alt text. Alt equals double quotations. Between those two double quotations, I'm going to put my mouse cursor in there. I'm just going to create some basic alt text. I'm going to say my my thumbnail il illustration. I'm going to put my mouse cursor after that second double quotation. I'm going to create another space and I'm going to give it a width of 400. Width equals double quotations. Between those two double quotations, I'm going to type 400. I'm going to put my mouse cursor after that second double quotation. I'm going to make a space. I'm going to give it a height of 250. Height equals double quotations between those two double quotations. I'm going to say 250. I'm going to put my mouse cursor outside of that second double quotation and I'm going to close that image tag. Now I'm going to go up to File, down to Save. I'm going to go back to my web page. I'm going to refresh. There's my image right there. If I click on that image, now I haven't set it up to open in, into a new tab. If I click on it, it opens on the same tab. But if I want somebody to remain on my website, I'm going to hit the back arrow to go back. If I want somebody to remain on my website, I'm going to go back to VS Code. And similar to what I did up above here with the target dot blank, just after my URL, I'm going to put my mouse cursor after that second double quotation there. I'm going to make a space. I'm going to type target equals double quotations and I'm going to do underscore blank. Now to make this safe to where somebody can't hijack this uh, URL here, I'm going to put my mouse cursor outside of that double second double quotation. I'm going to do another space and I'm going to use the rel equals double quotations, no opener. I'm going to go up to File, down to Save. I'm going to go back to my web page. I'm going to refresh. Now when I click on that image, it will open my web page. It will open my URL that I've hyperlinked this image to in a new tab. You can see there it opened into a new tab. That is how you safely open a link in a new tab using HTML. Thanks for watching.